Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to use Tailwind with Astro. So Astro is a static site generation tool similar to say Gatsby or Eleventy. At the time of recording this, it's just about to go uh, V1 release. There's a V1 beta out there at the moment. And one of the things they've added in there as well is something called integrations, which allows you to add stuff like Tailwind um, very, very easily. Now, normally to add Tailwind to a project, you're gonna set up the Tailwind config, you're gonna tell it where to look, Look for files to scan and then you're going to kick off the Tailwind generation process to scan those files and create a CSS file for you to include. Um, with Tailwind, well you can also do it with post CSS, so Tailwind is um, a post CSS plugin um, and Astro uses post CSS and in combination with the integrations that it provides we're pretty much down to one line to adding it. Um, so it's gonna be fairly quick and I'll show you that, but then we'll, I'll, I'll show you quite what it's, just a little bit more about what it's doing there as well. Um, so let's create a Astro project to start with. We've got an NPM init Astro uh, at latest. And we'll just create the minimal here, which literally just puts up Astro on the, on the page. Uh, we'll do an NPM install. Uh, we need to do that so that we can then run the Astro CLI to use the integrations. So there's lots of things you can do with integrations. Uh, Tailwind is just one of them, and we'll show how that, how that works here. Speed this up a bit slow. Cool. All right, now with that in place, we can use Astro integration. So we can do an MPX Astro add and Tailwind. And that is gonna set it all up for us as a post CSS plugin. It's gonna scan the correct directories. It's gonna kick that off whenever we do a save. All right, so expect slightly smaller. Okay, so it's going to update our config file to add the integration. We can say, yes, that's fine. Um, it will install the integration, the AstroJS Tailwind, that's good. And then it will create, it will create our Tailwind uh, config for us. So good again. All right, all good. Let's open up the code and see what we've got. Um, so you can see it's created our Tailwind config here. And it's going and it specified our directory that it's going to scan. Um, if we go into Astro, we can see the integration is there for Tailwind. So I can kick this off now. Uh, if I do, put it back in here. So it's bigger. If I could do a npm uh, dev. Okay, so all it's putting up is this Astro at the moment. Um, and you can see, yeah, we haven't added any Tailwind, so we're getting this information to say no utility class to detect it, which is correct. All right, let's come back into Astro here, go into our file, just to check that it's all working well, and I will add a class. That, that. Okay, so we can have class. Um, so let's do text five uh, XL. I will do text red five hundred. Right. So if I save that off, and then come back in here, uh, let's check that it is running. It is running. I think the first update it does struggle. If I refresh, it should get it. And now we should get it on each time we save as well. So if I do um, change it over to blue and save that off, come back and now it's updating. And for some reason that first update doesn't seem to grab it. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's Tailwind added um, and integrated into the development environment. That npm run dev is generating Tailwind every time we run. Um, so what exactly is that doing then? Let's go um, on to GitHub and just have a quick look at that AstroJS project. If I come into uh, with Astro, 
and then go into let's do bigger again. Uh, we come into packages, come into integrations, and we've got a Tailwind integration. So you can see the other integrations we've got here, um, and we've also so we've got Tailwind. Right, and if we now look at the sort of things it's doing, it's got a base CSS. So now you would normally create a base CSS when you're setting up Tailwind, and you would add in um, the the base, the utilities, and the components. So if we if we click on there, uh, we can see that's exactly what it's doing for us. It's going to add that file in for us. Uh, and then if I go into the source, let's look at index TS here. Uh, if I scroll down, we'll suddenly start to see uh, it's doing a lot of the config, and then you see here that we're we're pushing our tailwind into um, post CSS. So what it's doing is literally just setting up as a post CSS plugin for us um, that integration. Uh, so very straightforward and very quick, very um, pretty cool that from Astro. I uh, hope that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.